At the premiere of Fast and Furious 6 in California, I promised the world that we would return to where it all started. And this is where it all started. They say an open road helps you think about where you've been, where you're going. For this particular film, it's important from the context of the story that for where the characters ultimately need to go, we need to start from a place of familiarity. I don't remember any of this yet. It's not fair. You know I don't. Dom is trying to jog Letty's memory, to fill in the gaps. I mean, she's having a real hard time. She's really struggling. So what is it exactly that you're trying to show me? That. And they come over the hill, and Race Wars has now become this huge, huge event. Whereas in number one, it was this small kind of underground thing. How's it going, bro? What's up, man? Welcome to Race Wars. To start the movie with Race War was a great signature way of saying, we're taking these guys back to where they started. We used to come here. Come here. We invented it. When you see them at Race Wars, you are reminded of where they started and you're reminded what their initial entrants were. We're basically doing it like the original race wars, but bigger. More cars, more girls, motorcycles, you know, metal militia, dirt bike guys doing backflips. We have drifting and of course drag racing. So it's like race wars, but times 10. There's just a sea of cars, somewhere around 300 cars. It's great because that a scene like Race Wars, all the support equipment that we actually bring fits right into the scene. So you don't have to hide anything. I think that the race culture has grown as has the world of Fast and Furious. They've kind of grown together and both have kind of helped each other grown to a, a bigger plateau. Action, Vin. Keep it under 9,000 RPMs. You know that's not my style. I got to ride or die, right? How about you just ride on this one? She's driving a Cuda. We have several Barracudas, obviously. Most of our stunt cars use our fuel-injected power plant, you know, modern power, Brembo brakes, you know, coilover suspension. Everything's been modernized underneath the skin of the car. Go! loyal audience that has been tracking this movie for a decade and a half was yearning to return to their reality of 15 years ago. And this was the perfect vehicle to say, we are now at Race Wars. You don't even understand how it feels for me, 14 years later, to be pulling back in reverse with the crowd of extras who are all obviously fans, because there's no way that you cannot be a fan of the franchise and be screaming in 110 degree weather while the sun is bearing down on you, take after take, and be showing love. I can see it in their eyes when they're going, woo, woo. It's 14 years of history, and it's like an appreciation, and it's kind of like them saying thanks, you know? Mitch for representing, and I'm like, yeah. That's the girl I heard so much about. <laughs> Where you been at? Ghost girl. I've been watching Fast and Furious since it first came out, and when I'm traveling, it's kind of like my go-to plane series, one of those movies that you can just watch all of them again and again and again. So to think back to me being a kid and going to the cinema and watching this film with my friends, now to getting to come on the set and be a part of it, it's surreal, it's really cool. Everybody really wants to be a part of this franchise because even though the, the franchise has grown from just kind of an underground race car movie to a much bigger heist movie than a huge action movie, globe globetrotting, we've always tried to stay organic and give the people who are our fans 
fans from the very beginning something to come back to in each film. Matthew, what the hell? Seven movies later, here I am back again, and I'm speechless, I'm caught off guard, I'm excited, and I don't even got the word for it. So it's a blessing, you know what I mean, to be back. What was yours originally? I just said, yeah, your girl could swing, dog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, damn, your girl still got that swing or something okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. Remember the race roads we did 15 years ago yeah, where yeah. she punched somebody? Yo, no, that might be better because yeah. it brings it back to part Play with one. that. Yeah, Play with that something that brings us back to part one. Damn, dog. Girl still got that swing, homie. Bad love to my boy Vin, man. It's on and crack, and we back fast on the Furious Part 7. It was a, a really surreal moment because I remember doing those scenes and I remember all of the fans out loud reciting lines from the first one with a certain kind of reverence and regard. And even though it's just a movie, a movie could have a positive effect on a culture and they can adopt it as their own. And it was a very gratifying moment to be back at Race